So if you have pictures on an iPhone and you're in the United States, and also if those pictures have been uploaded to iCloud, um, they also will be scanned. Okay? So users' photos converted into a string of numbers. Um, another episode and in this episode I'll actually be discussing Apple who plans to scan US iPhones for child abuse imagery and all you iPhone users may want to stay tuned because this is a hot one and if you're thinking about getting an iPhone nothing beats the security of iPhone however that will come with certain stipulations in the very near future like next couple weeks so um this is Lala News 3, first of all. So you guys know where to reach out to me at on all social media platforms at Lala News 3, including YouTube um, and also nine podcasting platforms. A couple other links I'll also include as well. And email lmfiercereview at gmail.com. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, we'll get right into it. So now Apple actually um, detailed its proposed system known as new neural match so n-e-u-r-a-l match um to some u.s academics earlier this week so they actually have already detailed the system to these folks here now um, according to two security researchers briefed on the virtual meeting um the plans could be publicized more widely as soon as this week um this week like now so um, the system has actually been trained with 200,000 sex abuse images collected by the U.S. nonprofit organization National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Um, Apple's NeuroMatch algorithm actually will continuously scan photos that are stored on a U.S. on a U.S. United States user's iPhone and have also been uploaded to its iCloud's backup system. So, if you have pictures on an iPhone and you're in the United States and also if those pictures have been uploaded to iCloud um, they also will be scanned okay so users photos converted into a string of numbers um, oh okay so users photos converted into a string of numbers through a process actually known as hash as hashing um, will actually be compared with those on a database of known images for sexual child abuse so they'll actually be scanned. You know, you can drop someone's picture in and then it'll show you everywhere it is on the internet. Same thing here. Um, you drop a picture and it's going to compare it to pictures that are already in there and they have 200,000 pictures. However, anything that's probably related to it will also flag some stuff. Um, so although the system is currently trying to spot child sex abuse, it could also uh, be adapted to scan for any other um, targeting imagery or item. Um, for instance, like terror beheadings and also anti-government signs at protests. So if you are a protester, then in the very near future, if you are out holding a sign saying certain things, um, you know, then you will be targeted. There's facial recognition and everything else. Um, also, if, you know, for certain stuff that's happening online, whether that's crimes, um, sex abuse, um, violence, whatever it may be, may also be... Um, subject to viewing okay or being sent in and this is kind of how it works so every photo uploaded to iCloud in the US will actually be given a safety voucher saying whether it is suspect or not um, once a certain number of photos are marked as suspect Apple will enable all the suspect photos to be decrypted and if apparently illegal pass on to the relevant authorities so we do know that Apple has a very safe and secure encrypted system however they will be decrypted um, if it's found to be a group or you have a cluster or they keep a tag of a certain amount of time and then after you've reached that limit they encrypt or decrypt excuse me all of those photos and then send them over to whoever they need to go to unbeknownst to you okay so cloud-based photo storage system and social networking sites already actually scan for child abuse imagery um, but that process becomes more complex when trying to access data that is stored on a personal device. So that means they will have to go to the cloud. So they're already able to go and get things out of the cloud, which you know you can do through various devices, various locations, simply by logging in or having certain tethered devices. 
Um, however, this is already a thing where these images and social media and everything, social networking sites have already kind of band together um, to kind of share these images um, and report to authorities. So the devices, though, your actual phone is a lot harder. Like, you know, you had that case, the famous case a couple years ago where they wanted to get into somebody's phone. Apple refused, blah, blah, blah. So now, um, and that was due to Apple not wanting to... Um, basically harm his customers you know how many people will leave apple because nine times out of ten they're with apple due to the security of it so why would we compromise that and then that means we would do it for everybody they would want it all the time which was the idea that apple was given which is the reason why they didn't um cooperate in that case a while back however um now they are worried though that apple's president could also increase pressure on other tech companies to use similar techniques um, it is an absolutely appalling idea because it's going to lead to distributed bulk surveillance of our phones and laptops, um, said Ross Anderson, who is a professor of, professor, excuse me, of security engineering at the University of Cambridge. Um, Apple actually declined to comment, um, but researchers actually say that it is Apple's attempt to actually find a compromise between its own promise to protect customers' privacy, like I mentioned, um, and ongoing demands from government, law enforcement agencies, and child safety campaigners for more assistance in criminal investigations, including terrorism and child pornography. Okay, so, basically, to sum it all up, iPhone users will now have their photos accessible to be sent off to law enforcement if it is flagged with child abuse or any of the other things that may be mentioned. They're going to start off with child abuse, but there's other ways that it could be spread out to also um, report other type of pictures to law enforcement as well in the near future. But right now, this is already starting to happen probably within the next week or two that they plan on actually rolling this out and making it active. However, it's already been discussed to be rolled out. So, um, look up other topics on it, guys. Check it out. Um, get prepared, I guess. I mean, I don't know because some stuff, I, I'm not saying get prepared like y'all out there doing child abuse. I'm saying some of the images that you may have in your phone or when you take pictures of children, I, you don't know if it could be deemed as pornography or child abuse or not. Like, you know, I mean, so what... You know, I don't know, babies sit with their shirts off, you know, babies sit in their little diaper and they playing with their little toys. Like, some people could take that as something weird if you have this picture in your phone and then now it's flagged. And if I got 10 baby pictures in my phone, then, you know, and they, like, what is exactly, well, they have compared it to 200,000 pictures. So, I'm assuming that somewhere in there it kind of is knowing what to look for. However, it will be flagged by a real person. A real person is going to review it after, and then it'll be sent on. So it is going to be, the computer's going to flag it, but a actual live person will review it before it's sent over to um, authorities. So it does have like a, a, it passes several hands before the final flag is sent out to kind of, you know. So, um, let you guys know that that was coming up for you iPhone users, so. Um, let me know what you guys think, what else you guys find on the subject, um, and I guess it'll be rolling out soon, so, um, I guess it's a good thing to kind of stop whatever's happening with the children as far as pornography, child abuse, the ch trafficking and all that old stuff. Um, so, great there, but it's going to kind of be a toss-up between people's privacy, um, and also catching people that are criminals. So, good luck, Apple. We're trying to figure out the right way to do that. However, we already know where society is going. There is no privacy anymore. No privacy on your phones, no privacy on your browser, no privacy on anything really anymore as far as what you're doing online. Even your transactions, you know, are tracked, of course. So everything is going to kind of be not private anymore. So it's kind of the direction that everything appears to be going in. So, you know, let me know what you guys think um, about that. And, you know, there will be more developing on it. And I'm Lala News 3, and that's what I have for you on the fact that Apple plans to start scanning U.S. iPhones for child abuse imagery. And tune in next time. I'm out.